Hey there, let's talk about virtual reality and makers. We've talked about virtual reality. We had a whole issue about virtual reality. And one of the questions that kept popping up is what does virtual reality have to do with makers? Now, aside from the fact that programmers are makers too, if we want to talk about the physical world, we kept kind of postulating that we would have tools within virtual reality for creating physical things like um, modeling 3D prints. We hadn't really had any tools to play with that did that yet. We've seen a few hints here and there, but luckily one company has allowed me to beta test their software. Now this is not going to be a review. This is Oculus Medium and I'm beta testing their software. I have some, uh, some engineering samples of the movement tracking controllers. So I'm not going to be showing the interface of the software up close. I'm not going to be pointing out the pros and cons in detail, though I'm going to talk a tiny bit. Um, and I'm not going to be showing some aspects, you know, of, of how it looks because it's still in flux and they don't want to give you the wrong idea. Uh, so again, this isn't a review, but I'm going to show you how incredibly cool this is that this is coming. I can now sculpt in virtual reality and 3D print it right here in my home. Uh, I don't know exactly what date this is going to be available to the public. I understand it's very soon though, uh, within the next couple months, I think. We'll let them do their announcements. So, what I have here is my Oculus Rift. I can show this in detail. I've actually already done an unboxing video that shows it up close and personal. If you haven't seen it, check out my unboxing video. Uh, it was, I think it was all right. And, fun to watch, but so here's my Oculus Rift. I'm gonna throw that on. I'm gonna use these hand tracking controllers, which I'm not gonna get up close and personal with on video because these are engineering samples, not the final product, and I'm gonna sculpt. So let's take a peek in the software real quick. So as we can see here, I've got this, uh, the sphere in front of me and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna model a makey real quick um, so I'm gonna flatten this sucker Boop. whoops that's some ah oh, so cool and I can grab it and move it around and scale it up and down and move it um, I need some symmetry for this next part oh whoops I have goofed it all up so I'm gonna undo there we go now I've got Symmetry turned on, and I'm gonna start sculpting a makey here. So here's our little makey's head. Here's our little makey's eyes. Clear up that bit there, look at that. That's just a cute little makey head. And I can give him a little bit of a neck and switch to a different shape for some different sculpting. Now I have super shaky hands, which you can kind of see in this video, but it's not that bad when it comes to actually sculpting. You can see that even though my hand is shaky, this final project product here isn't that bad. And let's switch back to a circle here and I'm gonna do flatten. And let's do a circle right here on his chest or her chest. A little bit deeper and that's gonna be our M Let's switch back to the square and shrink that sucker down and oh this is so freaking cool man I just cannot believe how incredibly cool this is. Just basic stuff, right? So this is not an engineering package. This is not a package that you would use for um, accurate designing of something like a, uh, an enclosure for electronics because you'll notice I can't dimension, I can't decide uh, yet, they could change this, I can't decide you know that I'm gonna put a five millimeter hole five millimeters from the edge or etc but I can look at this thing scale it up scale it down model it to my liking and the coolest part is I can now spit this thing out 
to go 3D print it. I don't have to do anything to it at all. I can just spit it out and go 3D print it. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's run through a modeling session. I like to do an octopus uh, as the first thing I print with any new technology or any new material. So let's model an octopus and then 3D print it. So there they are. These are the two prints that I pulled off of the machine. The black one was printed in Cura, just uh, with standard settings. The gray one I threw into Simplify 3D and I think I goofed the settings a little bit, uh, trying to get higher quality. But overall, this is kind of amazing. I am so excited for the ability to be able to sculpt in VR and then throw it into a 3D printer directly. Uh, for those of you who have done 3D modeling and tried things like ZBrush or Sculptress, you'll know that that 2D, 3D transition in your brain, going from a 2D surface like a tablet or a mouse to the 3D thing on the screen being displayed as 2D is very, very difficult. Uh, when you're trying to do something like tentacles or things like that, you know, moving in space on all of the axes in different ways, um, this thing literally was, uh, I, I, I spent maybe five minutes or 10 minutes in the software before I tried to model this. So this is the most basic tools available within uh, Medium, and I was able to pop this out. Now, um, on the negative side, this is not CAD software. You're not gonna be using this to dimension accurate parts. Maybe that will change, but right now that's not what this is. Uh, so I'm still kind of curious to see if that is an application that will appear in virtual reality, if that will be something that will be useful in virtual reality, uh, or even wanted, you know. Um, but as far as sculpting goes, sculpting in virtual reality for 3D printing is amazing. And I'm sure it's only going to get better as they refine their software before release. Uh, so there it is. There are the, the two files. I want to thank um, Oculus Medium for letting me test it out. Uh, I can't wait to see their updates and their release. And uh, if you'd like to see more sculpting videos, I'm going to be posting some more on my personal channel. You can check that out. Otherwise, see you next time.